Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we will continue with the distance formula and in the previous video we have already discussed that how a distance formula can be used in proving collinearity and proving triangles and in this case we are going to prove for quadrilaterals and Quadrilaterals are basically a closed figure having four sides. So, one thing is important here. Either I can write you all the properties of all the quadrilaterals and I'll ask you to mug up those properties. But instead of mugging up those properties, what should be done is we must relate the quad, uh, co, uh, quadrilaterals between themselves and using those relations we can remember the properties of one quadrilateral with the other quadrilateral. For example, the first quadrilateral is parallelogram. This is the first uh, quadrilateral. Parallelogram basically is a figure where This is a parallelogram where this side which is AB, CD. AB is parallel to DC and AB is equal to DC. Similarly, here AD is parallel to BC and AD is equal to BC. So this is the first quadrilateral which is known as a parallelogram. So these are the basic properties of parallelogram where Two sides must be equal and parallel. Similarly, here also this side must be equal to this side and this side must be equal to this side. If the opposite sides are equal, then in that case the quadrilateral is known as parallelogram. So, the first property of parallelogram is its opposite sides are equal. So this is the first property for parallelogram and with parallelogram I can make a rectangle now what is rectangle if I this is a tilted figure if I make this straight so in that case I'll get an In that case, I'll get a rectangle. This is exact copy of this, but here it is tilted, but here it is straight. So, the properties of rectangle and parallelogram in this case must be same. Here, the opposite sides of rectangle must be equal. But, because this we have straightened, so in that case, one thing one property will be added in rectangle that the angle of rectangle, the, all the angles of a rectangle will be of 90 degree. So, the first uh, rectangle must has its opposite sides equal plus the first property of rectangle is all angles are of 90 degree. So, this is the first case. For rectangle. Now, using this same parallelogram, I can make a rhombus. For rhombus, what I have done is this side is equal to this side, and this side is equal to this side. So, what I have done is I have shifted this side inside so that all four sides are equal. So I have shifted this parallelogram, I have shifted this side of parallelogram a bit closer to this side so that its all sides are equal. So in this case, all its sides are equal and obviously the opposite sides must also be parallel here. So what is rhombus? when its all sides are equal. So, all sides are 
equal. So this is the basic property for rhombus. Now, with both these two figures, I can make a square. How? If I make this tilted figure straight, so this will form a figure like this, where all sides are equal plus all angles are of 90 degrees. So this is our square. So how to prove a square? We have to prove that all four sides are equal using this distance formula. Then you have to prove that one angle is of 90 degrees. Same case with this. Okay, now I'll uh, explain you later. First of all, must uh, we must know the properties here. So, with rhombus, I can make square. Similarly, with rectangle, if I shift this side closer to this another side, so that it's all sides are equal. So, in that case also, you can form a square. So, this must also be a square here. So, these are the basic properties of square, uh, sorry, quadrilaters, where parallelogram must has its opposite sides equal. And using this, when I make this a rectangle here also, its opposite sides are equal. But to prove it is a rectangle, I have to prove that one angle is of 90 degree. And how to prove that? If I have to prove that this is a 90 degree angle, for that, if I join this, this will be a right angle triangle where this will be a hypotenuse, this will be a perpendicular, and this will be a base. So I have to prove Pythagoras theorem here. If in a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of perpendicular plus the square of base. This is a Pythagoras theorem. And if it, this is satisfied, in that case, this will be a right angle triangle. And if this is a right angle triangle, so obviously this must be a 90 degree angle. So this is the case. And if from parallelogram you are making a rhombus, and in that case, you have to prove that it's all sides are equal. If in a quadrilateral, it's all sides are equal. In that case, that must be a rhombus. And if you want to prove square, in that case, you must be, you first of all, you have to prove that all sides are equal. Plus, you have to prove that one angle is equal. And how to prove that one, sorry, one angle is of 90 degree. And how to prove that one angle is of 90 degree? Again, you have to join this and you have to prove Pythagoras theorem for this right angle triangle. So in that case, this will be proved as a right angle triangle. So these are the basic properties of quadrilaterals. <laughs> Plus, there is another properties regarding the diagonals. Now, if I talk about this figure, which is a parallelogram, and I have to prove whether the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal or not. So obviously, the diagonals are not equal because this diagonal must be greater than this diagonal because I can take this figure more toward the right hand side. So obviously, this must also be a parallelogram where this diagonal must be more than this diagonal. So in this case, the diagonals are not equal here. But when I make this rectangle, its diagonal must be equal. Because this is a figure which is in symmetry. And from here, when I have to make rhombus, again, the diagonals must not be equal. And uh, from here, what we have concluded is in rectangle 
एन स्क्वायर डायग्नल्स आर इक्वल सो दिस इज अनदर प्रॉपर्टी वी मस्ट नो अबाउट द क्वारिलेटर्स सो दीज आर द बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्वारिलेटर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सेक्शन फॉर्मूला थैंक यू